you wear underwear, I wear underwear, I wake up every day and put on underwear, I want to put on my favorite underwear every day. Over the last couple weeks and months, I've gone on Amazon and collected four different kinds of underwear uh, on a hunt to find the most comfortable, budget-friendly underwear that I could. Life's too short to wear uncomfortable underwear, okay? Buy yourself some comfortable underwear and then just keep buying them and just wear them the rest of your life. Every morning when you wake up, you wanna put on the best underwear. You don't wanna be one of those guys that has like a smorgasbord of underwear and then you always have to go back and pick up like your least favorite pair because your favorite pair is dirty. You throw it on the floor or you wear it like three days in a row because you're gross. All right, listen, just take my advice and buy the most comfortable underwear that there is, okay? I'm gonna show you some of the underwear that I've been picking up over the last couple months so that you know what to get and what to avoid, okay? Uh, right at the top of the list, these Gildan underwear, do not buy these, okay? I bought these, when I was a kid, I had these like all over the place. They're pretty cheap. I got a five pack for $13.99, okay? Okay, 14 bucks. 14 bucks got me uh, five pair of these in some different colors. These suck, okay? Of all the underwear that I got, these had the roughest material. To the touch, they seem fine. When you're running around with them and you feel them on you, you feel them, they're abrasive, okay? I want you to know these are the least comfortable pair and like they're baggy. There's like too much room in the crotch. Just forget about these. Don't ever cheap out on underwear. You're putting it on every single day. Don't mess with it, okay? They're garbage. Okay, coming up next, the most expensive pair of underwear on the list. I probably hate these even more than the Gildans. $20 for a single pair ex officio underwear, boxer briefs, forget about these. These are also rough. These are actually to the touch more abrasive than even the Gildan underwear. I don't understand who is in the market for these. I'm sure some people out there love these because they're expensive and some people have been tricked into thinking that means it's a higher quality product. Uh, these are hugely disappointing. They're kind of durable, but uh, you know, I, I wouldn't pick them up just because if they're not comfortable, what's the point? I, I would be willing to pay a lot for a single pair of underwear if they were the most comfortable on the planet, the most comfortable that I'd run into at least. These are not. Um, I recommend against getting these. I rate those like maybe five out of 10. I mean, just halfway, they're just decent. Okay, next we have these Eushigia. Eushigia. These are all right. Um, they're super comfortable. They're super soft to the touch. Um, I don't like how short they are top to bottom. These are some booty shorts. I don't mess with these. Uh, I call these my Judas shorts because they start off pretty comfortable, but then they betray you. About halfway through the day, they start riding up the legs and getting all comfortable where the sun don't shine. Forget about them. I don't want to mess around with these bogus bungy undies, dude. I'm not playing around. I'm not playing around. Finally, we got my favorite pair, the natural feeling boxer briefs. I got these on Amazon and then I went back and got more and then I went back and got more because every single day I want to wake up and put on this pair of underwear. These boxer briefs are extremely comfortable. Okay. I'm 5'11". I weigh 180. My waist size is 32. These fit me. Okay. I'm, I'm active. I run, I bike, I, I sit at a desk all day. I guess that's not active, whatever. Uh, these are the underwear for me. They're pretty cheap too. Uh, I think these are some of the cheapest on the list at something like $20 for five pair. So, you know, four bucks-ish per undie. Uh, highly recommend. I'm gonna put a link down in the description. If you have any questions, comments, whatever, leave a like, share the video, sell your soul to me. Goodbye, thank you.